we have three options here. We have connect the selected clip to the primary storyline, shortcut Q. We have the insert option, insert the selected clip to the primary storyline, shortcut W. And then we have append the selected clip to the primary storyline, shortcut E. If you look at your keyboard in the top left-hand corner, the first three keys on that row are what? Q, W, and E. It corresponds with these three keys. All right? So you have append E, insert W, Q, connect. Okay? So what do these three do? Well, we're going to do the easy one first. We'll do the append. So I'm going to select a clip. And you can either click on the append button or hit the shortcut key E. And what that does is it places the clip on the timeline at the very end of all your clips. So if I were to have other clips down here, it would place it at the very end of the timeline. All right, let's try it with another clip. Select another clip, hit E. Notice what it does. It places it at the end of the timeline. It will always go at the end of the timeline. No matter where your playhead is, no matter what you have selected, it will place it at the end of the timeline. It's really nice, for instance, when you have a lot of stuff that you know is you want to put in order. You just select the first clip, E. Second clip in order, E. Third clip, E. Right? And you have your edit. It's done. Okay? So let's talk about insert. Uh, make sure your playhead is at the very end of the timeline. Um, I'm going to show it here. I'm kind of skipping ahead a little bit. But uh, on the right-hand side, next to your inspector and your sharing button, there is a little, almost looks like a magnet looking icon. Make sure that's on so it's blue. Uh, what this means is that will magnetize your clips together, right? So it will it'll make sure your playhead snaps um, to edit points, right? And you'll notice if you move your playhead around how it'll snap kind of to the between two clips on the timeline. All right. So make sure your playhead is all the way at the end of the timeline. Um, you can hit the uh, end key, E-N-D, on the keyboard. That's a nice shortcut you definitely should know. That will jump your playhead all the way to the end. And let's do the insert. OK, so let's select a different clip. And you can either hit the W key or the insert icon. And let's see what it does. It puts the clip at the end of the timeline. Well, what's the difference? Why would I use insert versus append? Well, insert actually doesn't do it to the end of the timeline. It puts it wherever your playhead is. OK? So for instance, let me select a different clip. I'm going to put my playhead. Uh, in between, in the middle of this first clip here. Here, let me let me delete these so the, maybe the point is, can be easier seen here. I have one clip on my timeline. I have my playhead in the middle of this clip. If I hit my W key, look what it does. It places it on the primary storyline, and it cuts my original clip that's down there because my playhead was over it, and it inserts it in there. All right, so let's try it again. I'm going to select, uh, select another clip here. I'm going to put my timeline between these two clips this time, right, and hit W. And it just moves my third clip over, and it inserts my clip in between them. So I can either use that button, that shortcut, or I can go back to the tried and true drag and drop method, right? So let's try it again. I'm going to drag my clip here. I'm going to drag it to the timeline. And I'm going to hover over where I want to place it. Notice what it does. It moves the clip over for me. All right? And you can see it's going to show you where it's going to drop. So I can just drop it in there. All right? So whether you like the drag and drop method, you can do it. You can move clips around easily. Whether you like shortcuts, you can do it. Or whether you're a visual uh, button smasher, right? you can do that.
and let's talk about connected clips. So what is a connected clip? A connected clip is mostly used for B-roll. So when we connect a clip, it will place it on top of our primary storyline on top of another clip. And the reason they call it connected is because it will actually connect that B-roll clip to the clip on the primary storyline. So if you move that clip on the primary storyline, it will move all the connected clips with it. Okay, it's, it'll be easier to see once we do it. So I'm gonna place my playhead somewhere in the middle of the first clip here. And I'm going to select a clip in my browser and I'm going to hit the Q key, because you know Q stands for connected, I guess. Or you can hit the first uh, uh, button there for connected. And look what it does. It places it above the primary storyline. So now this is what's known as a secondary storyline. Okay. And if I click and drag this first clip on my primary storyline, look what happens. The connected clip goes with it. And you know what, just, just for fun, I'm gonna click another clip and I'm gonna connect that one, All right? So now I have two connected clips and if I drag my first one in, hey, guess what? Those others go with it as well. So let, let me zoom in here to show you guys something here. I'm going to zoom in really far. There's a vertical bar at the beginning of this, well, we'll do this first clip here, of this first connected clip. And it is touching the clip on the primary storyline. That means that is where this clip is connected to. Okay, so if I move this first clip around on the primary storyline, it's going to move this clip as well. I can tell this is a connected clip because it has a vertical bar connected to the first clip as well. Okay, so if I click on this top, this Tony Schum, uh, Schumacher vid clip, and I hit delete, it goes away. Right, I don't have a clip connected anymore. But here's something interesting. This John Force clip is connected to Anton Brown. If I click on my Anton Brown clip and I hit delete, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to lose both of them. Okay? So you need to be careful of what you're really wanting to do when, when you're bringing B-roll in um, for things, right? Uh, it, does everybody know the edit undo shortcut? Command Z is in zebra, 